everybody welcome back to my channel it's Andrea and today I have my fourth update for the 50 shades of purple project pan this was created by Jessica Lee Amanda D and Cece and it is a fantastic ladies collab although for this particular project you don't need to be a fantastic lady to join because it's just picking 50 purple items or items that you can somehow correlate to the color purple so there's still plenty of time to join. This runs from April 15th of 2021 to April 15th of 2022. So I will have all that information in the description box so that I don't have to blabber on about it for too long. But I have a pretty exciting update. I started the month with 43 products and I have five empties for this update. So I'm going to do the empties first and then I'll quickly run through the rest of my products. First, you have already seen this if you watched my empties video. It is my Bath & Body Works London Tulips and Raspberry Tea Shower Gel. I used it five more times this past month for a total of 38 times to finish. Then I have my John Frieda Frizzies Hair Style Holding Gel. It's an airless pump, so you can see where I was at my last update. And then now I am all the way to the top, so I have finished it. And I should mention, because because I went on vacation last month, I filmed my last update about a week early, so I had about five weeks to work on all of these products. That's why I was able to finish so many things, I think. But the next thing is this Sorinda's Enchantments Persephone's Journey hand sanitizer. It's all done. This is an estimate because I used this on vacation and my mom and my sister used it a couple times and I wasn't really keeping track on vacation like that. So I have 17 times-ish, about 50-ish times to finish this. My, <laughs> I didn't really care for the scent but and my sister said it, it smells like blueberry feet. So I'm glad that this is gone. Then I have this little perfume sample is it's hard to see because it's so the packaging is so dark but hopefully you can tell it's empty. I used this 11 more times. I got 29 uses out of this tiny little thing. So perfumes last a long time. Who knew? And then my last empty for the month is my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I used this 24 times and I used it a total of 115 times to finish it. I really like the setting spray, but I just, I don't think that's good value for the money. So I have one more. I have a couple others that I want to try out. But unless I get this on like a really good deal, I, I just can't justify buying this at full price, which makes me sad because I really do like it. But I go ham with my setting sprays and that might seem like a lot, but for like 42 bucks, this better last a lot longer than that. So those were my five empties for the month. And then I will try to quickly go through the rest of my products. Out of the remaining products, there's only three that I have not used at all yet. And there's two that I, two nail polishes that I did not use this past month. So I don't show you guys things that I haven't used because what is the point? So first we have my CVS bath salts in lavender and chamomile. You can see I'm down to here right now. I used it three more times. I've used this, these salts a total of 10 times since the start of the project. I, again, I only use this as a foot soak. I think with this amount of use, I have like two months left and then this will be done. My Andalou Naturals Lotion. I used this 12 more times for a total of 42 times and I am down to here. My Good Molecules Eye Patches. I've used these four times this past month, which means I've used a total of 14 pairs. So I I'm just under halfway done with these. Then I have my other two hand sanitizers from Sorinda's Enchantments. My sister made fun of me for putting hand sanitizer in a project pan, but I probably wouldn't be using it if it wasn't in a project pan. So 
I have the Blood Orange Hand Sanitizer, which I've used 12 more times for a total of 39 times, and it is right there. And then this Venus scent, I've used 22 times this past month for a total of 35 times, and it's about halfway gone, so. Now that the other hand sanitizer, that's the one that was in my purse, is gone, I will be moving one of these into my purse, and whichever one goes in my purse will obviously get more use than the other one, but I think they'll go fairly quickly now that I only have two to focus on. Next are the two perfumes that I still have left in this project. The first is the my Copacetic Cosmetics New Year Fling like perfume sample. I've used it five more times for a total of 16 times and it's right there and now that the other smaller perfume is gone I'm going to focus on this one to get it out because I if I use it like probably six or seven more times I think it'll be gone so I'm going to focus on this one for the next month and then I still I've only used this Pacifica French Lilac perfume I can't even see it because of the package because of my walls. I've only used it twice this past month for a total of five times in the project so I haven't marked it yet because I don't I don't see the point but this is just um, a 50 user uh, there's no way I'm gonna get through that this year so five out of 50 uses I've still got quite a ways to go. Next is my CoverGirl Simply Ageless Foundation. It has slash had purple writing and a purple cap but it's really old so it's all rubbing off. I only used it four times for a total of 37 times and I know I didn't make a mark last month so I did I was able to make another mark this month. I the only reason I got any use on this is because I mixed it with a sample of the Urban Decay whatever their new one is. I don't know the hydrating whatever it comes in like the squeezy tube, I think. I don't know. My sister got samples from Sephora and one was too dark for her, so she gave it to me and it was too orange for me, so I mixed this in with it and that's where those four uses came from. Then I have my Becca, which one is this? First Light. I guess it's a good thing they're going out of business because now I don't have to remember which is which because I can never remember. This is the first light priming filter. You can see I moved all the way down to there. I used it 20 times in the past month for a total of 66 times. I am going to focus on this and hopefully I can get it finished before next update. I am working on another primer in my Throwback 30 project but because that just started, I don't really feel like I need to focus on that one right now. So I'm gonna focus on this one to hopefully get it done because while I do love this primer, Becca's going out of business and I don't have any backups or anything of this and I just like to finish it and I think I think I should be able to do that if this is the only primer that I end up using for the next month. Next I have my Glamour Dolls and Lisa Frank bronzer. My goal on this is 50 uses or pan. I don't have pan. I've used it five more times, so I have 30 uses on this. I, every month, every time I use it, I'm like, am I going to hit pan? Because I've been seeing that waffle grid since I rolled it into the project, and it just doesn't seem to be moving at all. But I've used it 30 times so far, so only 20 more uses. Like I think I said in my last update, depending on what it looks like after the 20 uses if I haven't hit pan. I may just keep it in just to hit pan because I would think it, I don't know. I mean, I thought I would have pan in this already, so obviously I'm not a good judge of how close pan is, but. Next, I have my Becca highlighter in Lilac Geode. I've used this four more times, so a total of 13 times. You can see in the, in the middle there where I've been concentrating my brush. I have to double check I think my goal, I can't remember if my goal is to hit pan or is if it's 50 or pan. Let me see. My goal for this is 50 or pan. I'm sure I'm just going to use it the 50 times and I'm not going to hit pan because 
I have pan in my mini opal and I think that took me 70 plus uses to hit pan in that so we're slowly working on that one and then we have my island time palette by the brand who shall not be named so my goal again is 25 times on each of the blushes and 50 or pan on the highlight so I always of course my husband's taking the shower now whatever so this is my tie I've used it once this past month for a total of three times I gotta I gotta step it up with these blushes I'm not I'm not using them nearly enough this is the shade punch I've used it two times for the past month for a total of five is Cosmo. I used it one time for a total of seven. Bellini I've used twice for a total of seven and then the highlighter Bali I've used twice for a total of 15. So I really need to step up my usage on this because as it stands we're five months into well no because as it stands we're four months into this project and I am not even a quarter of the way through for all this stuff so I need I need to step it up then since I finished my Urban Decay All Nighter I've started using this Tarte Stay Spray which I'm actually I I don't care about Tarte like the only reason I have this was because it was the platinum free gift or one of the platinum free gifts for Ulta this year and it was the only one that I thought was worth it. So, but I'm actually really liking it. So depending on the, like the mister is super fine, but, and I think this is, I think this is like 25 bucks. So it's much, I say affordable, that's still a lot for a setting spray. It's more affordable than the Urban Decay one. So I might, might just consider repurchasing this one instead of the Urban Decay because I think it it works really well I've really been liking it plus it has like a nice a like cucumbery melony kind of scent which I enjoy as well okay now we're getting into all my lip products so let's see first I have my notoriously morbid see me liquid lipstick I've only used it two more times so that's six more times this for all of my lip products, except for like the small sample ones, my goal is 50 or my lipstick is to finish half. So most of these are 50 uses. This is my Rebel Rouge Labs Vapor Gloss. I've used it two times for a total of 10. This is my Sonia Kashuk Polished Plum. I've used this one two times for a total of 10. I haven't been having any more problems with it, so I will keep it in I'm not going to declutter it quite yet. It's as long, it's really weird. As long as I don't get it like on my actual, like the edges of my lips, it's fine. It just, I don't know if it, it like touches the skin and it tingles or something, but, and it's not supposed to do that. But as long as I keep it within my lip line, it's fine. So I will, I just have to be careful how I apply that one, but I would like to get my 50 uses on it. And I have the Ulta Beauty Plum Lip Gloss. I've used this four more times for a total of 10 times. Then my Maybelline Plum Paradise Lipstick, which is actually what I'm wearing today. My goal, for, this is the one where my goal is just to use half. So I was actually able, so what did I say? Okay, I used this four times for a total of eight times. I was actually able to make a new line on my tracker sheet, the yellow section is my new mark. This Sparkly's Glitter and Gloss Sample, I've only used one more time for a total of 11. I have no idea how much is left in there. I just, I'm just not using it. It's a little too dark for me, so I gotta figure something out. Then I have this Copacetic Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Influence. I didn't make a new mark. I did use it two more times past month for a total of eight times and I'm like right underneath my old mark but there, there was no point in making a new one. Okay so those were all my lip products and now going into the eye products. I have my Laura Mercier Amethyst Caviar Stick. 
I used it five more times for a total of 23 times in the project so far. It's all the, this is rolled all the way down. So you can see I'm past the top of the, the tube. This is how much is left. And I was able to make a new mark on my tracker sheet with this one as well. It's a little, it's a bitty mark, but it's still there. That again, the yellow line, I actually wore this. I wore it as a base today and it's going to be kind of hard to see. I wore, I put it all over my lid and then I actually buffed it out with the Makeup Geek shade that's in this project, which I will show you in just a second. And I don't know. I, I like this shade a lot and I just, I've mainly been using it on my lower lash line, but I need to like use it more as a base because I think it'll look really pretty. Okay, next I have my two loose, my loose shadow and my loose glitter. So this is the Notoriously Morbid Loose Pigment in Pomegranate Seeds. This is what it looks like. I'm actually wearing this on my lower lash line. I've used it two more times for a total of 10 times. This is also a 50 user. And then my Sparkly's Glitter, and then my Sparkly's Glitter and Gloss Glitter in Croesus the Purger. I actually, I maybe I should can start marking. I might start marking like the back because I can, I don't think you'll be able to see just because of the reflection on the ring light and everything, but I, should definitely be able to make a line on here. So I will do that for after this update, I will mark a line. So then it'll be a little bit easier to see progress, but I've used this four times the past month for a total of 13 times. It's actually, I have it on my outer corner today. Then the one, the only of my five shadows that I'm actually not wearing today is my Enchanted Luster Cosmetics Shadow and Amethyst Prism. I used it two more times for a total of nine uses. So not too much difference, but you can still, I think you can tell like right over here is where I have the biggest dip going. But again, I try to wear it down as evenly as I can because I don't wanna like rush to hit pan on this because it is really beautiful. And then my last shadow in the project is my Makeup Geek shade in Wisteria. I would take it out, but I need a magnet and I don't have one right now. So this, I've used it four more times. I've used it a total of 21 times. So, I mean, that's a pretty decent dip. As I said, I'm, I think I'm about like halfway to pan, maybe a little more. So I'll definitely have pan in that sooner. Okay, now for my one eyeliner in this project. It is my NYX eyeliner in the shade Purple Blaze. I am wearing it in my lower waterline. I am wearing it in my waterline today. I've used it seven times for a total of 32 times and I was once again able to make another mark on my tracker sheet so it is right there. For four months of use I think that's pretty I think that's pretty good. So I, I might need to step on my usage a little more, but I think I can finish this before or by the end of the project. The rest of my products are my nail polishes. So I have this mini nail polish from Julep in the shade Dolores. I used this three times for a total of five times. I, I actually do have it marked, but you can't see but it's where this discoloration is. Where this discoloration is, is where my fill line is at. Let's see. This Wet n Wild Chrome, what is this? This Wet n Wild Chrome Polish in Hog Quartz School. I only used it one more time. I'm, I actually think I have this marked. I think I'm a little bit above where this line is. I don't know. This polish is really hard. It's really thick, but where it looks like it's kind of settled right here. So I think that's where I'm at with it. And then the other, only other nail polish that I used this past month is my Copacetic Cosmetics Loyalty and Resilience. I used it one more time and 
it's kind of hard to see because I lost my black Sharpie, but I did make another line right here. So this is about halfway done. So that is my progress for this past hmm, five-ish weeks for this project. Like I said, I think if I really just don't use any other primers for the month, I think I can finish this. I know I can finish this. I just have to make sure to use it. And I'm not quite sure. I don't think there will be any other goals that I meet next month, but I will probably start working on one of my other shower gels because they are more like fall winter scents. And as we get into September, I will want to start using those. So that was my update. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.